All right, welcome back to Lane Switching. Today, you know, we have a pretty special guest in the building. You might you might know him. Pretty popular guy out here in the city, out here in Ottawa. We got none other than FTG Reggie. Yes, sir. What's Thanks up, for bro? pulling up, bro. This is, uh, this is a big one. You're definitely, like, one of the biggest names in the city, and uh, you've been supporting the page for a bit, man. So really appreciate it. Really it's appreciate love, you man. taking all the time. I love you already know. For sure. So just um, tell us a little bit about your upbringing and, um, you know, early days of Ottawa and coming to Ottawa and all that. Mm, pretty much, if you follow me, then you already know, like, the basics, you know. Yeah. Born in Kenya, came here in 04. Lived in Cardwell for a little bit. Moved to Richie. You know, that's a simple shit. Everybody knows, you know. For sure, for sure. And when you came to Ottawa, or I should say when you came to Canada, you did you come strictly straight to Ottawa? No, no, no. We landed in Toronto. Yeah. We're in uh, Montreal for a little bit. Just layover type, you know? Yeah. But the port that we came in was in Toronto. And then from Toronto, I think we drove down here with my uncle. So, yeah. So, I landed in Toronto first, but ended up here. And it's not much of a memory. Like, you're so young that really... I don't even remember shit. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the first memories are out here in Ottawa. And, um, you know, FTG, really, if you think about it, like, um, it was late 2018, early 2019 when, you know, the whole... The whole movement started, but, um, you know, it, it happened so fast. What actually, like, when was the actual moment where you guys knew, okay, like, this is us, like, we're going to make it in this rapping city? I think uh, when we dropped, uh, before we even dropped uh, Meant to Be, mm-hmm. we were doing, uh, we posted a little snippet on, on Instagram, and it was going crazy. Everybody was reposting and commenting and shit, and then World Star Canada hit me up with one of my good friends now. He's like, yo, I'm trying to get you guys, like, uh, I'm trying to get you guys on my platform, expose you guys to my audience and shit. Uh, let me post a song on my thing. I'm like, okay, say no more. So we link up with Stain Visuals, got the video done, and then, fuck it, probably like a week after, I think he was finished, we sent it to Worldstar, and then we posted it. And boom. And it just been boom from since then, just been phew, jumping like crazy, you know? That was it. And I mean, ever since then, you, you know, you cemented, uh, a uh, big name for yourself out west. Um, out of the FTG members, like you know, besides yourself, besides obviously Rest and Power Metro, who do you think is like the most slept on FTG member when it comes to the music? The most slept on, because there's a lot of FTG members that are making music right now that no one, no one knows who they are yet. They didn't drop no songs. And shit. So my little homie Mar, Mar from Twenty Nine Hundred, <sighs> me and him have a couple songs that we're working on. You know that we're doing. That guy is one guy you have to look out for. He's a healer. Who knows? Yo, free my nigga Toka. I got some crazy, crazy bangers that I don't think anybody heard yet. But for real, and um, Hardo, Jigga, Big Metro. But out of all of us, the most slept on, I want to say, I'd say, yeah, it's Mar. That's sick. So definitely got to keep an eye out for him. But um. You know, it was 2019 when you guys started popping off. Obviously, there's been hip hop in Ottawa before then, but do you guys really believe you built the foundation? Maybe not just West End hip hop, but Ottawa hip hop. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we really like opened the doors. Pretty because before us, there's there's people that are doing the music rap shit, but no one was really looking into the city like that until we started coming around. We started dropping our music. I feel like we we brought more attention to it. Like we didn't start the whole shit. I'm not saying we. Mm-hmm. May lay down the foundation, but we put a really big stone, stepping stone, you know, for everyone in the city. So whenever you mention Ottawa rap or like other artists, you have to mention FTG for sure. You know, pioneers of the sh- most definitely, most definitely. And um, you know, it was late high school when you started getting into the hip hop shit. But before that, like you wanted to be a hooper. So just uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about hooping and uh, like some fond memories back then. Ball was a life, my nigga. Back in those <laughs> days, every day you wake up. Go to school, play ball, come home, play ball, go eat, play ball, go sleep, repeat all day, every day. But yeah, I kind of miss ball, I'm not going to lie. I miss hooping, you know, but I chose another path. But if I could choose again, I'd probably choose the same thing, go the same route, rap. Not a lot of people going to make it to the NBA, you know? No. Niggas had NBA dreams, though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I Me, mean, I thought I was going to go to the NBA, but just too much. For real. And uh, out west, like, who who's some names at West, I guess, who are doing the hoop shit right now who you think are like solid? JD, right JD for sure is tweaking. He's doing his thing out there. 
Again, my homie Anke, Tesla. Yeah. My homie EK, he's hooping out there. Moon. There's just so much niggas. So much. And that's not even just West End. That's like West, East, South. Yeah. These are the homies that I know personally, you know? Yeah. I mean, you see um, you see a guy like Neville Gallimore get drafted to the Cowboys. You see a guy like Mariel Shayok get drafted to the 76ers. Yeah, crazy, you know, there's, yeah. It, yeah, it's crazy. Like, growing up out here, just now seeing, like, guys reach that, like, a-list level mm -hmm. it's insane it's great to see you know but i think there's definitely there's still a lot of talent coming out of ottawa yeah, and like back in those days too you never really see anyone going to the league no so if if you go to the league you're like one in like a million like very 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 low chance so now you're seeing a, a bunch of people you know jesse lakuda too yeah he's doing this thing yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy it's like i've seen these guys from from my city they're making it to nba nfl sky's the limit you know anyone could do it most definitely, most definitely. And um, just back to the hip hop, um, you know, obviously we have hoopers and we have athletes from different ends, but, um, you know, something I, I don't think it gets in the way of the music, but I think definitely, um, you know, people being hesitant to work with people from different ends, you know, whatever the case may be. Do you think that's something that can become a trend or will become a trend in the future? Or do you think Ottawa is just going to no, stay no, steady? No, 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 it's going to come a trend for sure. I already see like, People from different ends working with each other. East side niggas working with West side. West side with South side. You know, vice versa. Uh, even my little homies too. I have a couple homies from the East side. Uh, we're probably gonna do some trash with them too. You know, it's all. It's just, it's the only thing about it is that people uh, they want to put the politics into the music before they even like hit you up type. Shit. So they already have a preconceived notion like, oh, I'm not gonna hit up this guy from this end. I'm not trying to fuck with that, or I'm not trying to look bad to my homies. Be like, oh, why are you fucking making this song with a West side nigga type. Shit, you know. Everyone's just in their own little lanes with the polys. But if it's just, just for, if you're thinking just like music business wise, then of course. There's a lot of artists, a lot of talent, east side, west side, south side. The whole city has bare talent. It's just people just, you know, need to take those steps to actually work with each other. You know, we'll see what we can go from there, you know? For real, for real. And, you know, there is so much talent and so many different sounds now in the city where it's like, uh, I mean, you've always had that like thought. I think everyone's always had that thought. It's like the west end's kind of melodic. You know, East has kind of gotten into drill lately and, you know, strictly bangers and strictly like maybe club music, you could say, is the South. Do you think that people still see like those stereotypes? And do you think the West is still always seen like, oh, it's a West guy. He's going to be dropping melodics. Mm, I don't really think so. I don't really hear that too much, you know, because mm -hmm. I hear songs from East Side niggas, South Side niggas, West Side niggas. It's all versatile. Everything's different. Like some people come with the pain melodic shit. Some people come with the hard drill, but it's in every ends, you know? There's always, like, that one rapper that's just straight drill, and then the yeah. one rapper that's, like, super sick with the melodic, so he sticks to that. It's just whatever you're good at, with lie, to be honest. And for you, have you been, like, working, you know, at, uh, would you say finding your sound more, or mm -hmm. just working on that versatility? and uh, trying to be versatile right now, you know? Because I already, I pretty much know, like, which sound... Like, like, you know, the House of Madness type flow that I was doing on that? Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much, like, I know I can go with that and do some stuff with that. But I'm trying to work more on, like, some club songs, you know, the dance hall songs. Those little, you know, those international songs in the club where it's, like, the niggas from, like, Spanish. You have a Spanish nigga on the song and yeah, you yeah, have, yeah. like, American nigga on the song. And it just goes like that. I'm trying to just do whatever. Just try everything and yeah. see which one. Because, you know, because I have, my, the way my fan base is, is crazy. I have a fan base. Like, here, of course, Ottawa, Canada, everything, the States. And then I have, like, a whole different sound base in the UK, a whole different sound base in, in, in Australia. So I might drop some shit, and you guys fuck with it here. But over there, they're like, nah, we want this, this, this. So I drop some shit like that. But then over here, it's like, nah, can you, you know, switch it up? So I got to be on my toes on it. For sure. And just kind of speaking on that, like, you know, you've actually, uh, you dropped a track with uh, an Australian artist. But do you see yourself continuing to collaborate, you know, outside of North America? Oh, 100%. 100% yeah if I fuck with the music and the money's right yeah we could do it for sure is there any international artists right now and and it could be whether they could be on your level above your level whatever the case may be is there any international artists UK or whatever that like you're really rocking with heavy right now mm, I don't know to be honest how much I don't really be like looking at going trying to discover artists and stuff like that I literally listen to the same people like most of the time you know but if someone puts me onto a sick artist a new artist and I with it yeah for sure when like it comes in the uk right now with central c yeah he's super okay. thug everybody yeah. with central c 
Yeah, most definitely. Um, just kind of like talking about like the artists you fuck with um, out of Ottawa right now. Who should people be looking out for? Loki Guap. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's coming different. Show, like, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's coming. He showed me some crazy songs. Even me too, I'm working on a, song, on a song with this guy. I'm trying to drop it for March. Trying to get it out for March. Yeah. And then Bambino. You know Bambino? Yeah. Yeah, he was here with him last time. We'll watch out for him too. He has some heaters on the way. Who else in Ottawa? Other than my little homies and all that. Uh, I don't know. I don't really see too much new artists coming out, making some music, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't think the scene has become stagnant, but I think there's definitely, um, there's a hierarchy now. So when, wherever ends you're coming out of, you kind of have to like, you know, work your way up to the level of the guys who've already made it. And and, and, that, and then go from there. Yeah, I see. I see what you're saying from there. And, and I, that could be tough for some. Um. Ottawa, like, obviously, you know, we're a government city, right? But, like, it just kind of feels like in comparison to the rest of the country, like, we're kind of a strict city. Like, <sighs> yeah. Do you think we're the most strict city in all of Canada? That I've been at, that I've been to, yeah, 100% for sure. Because everywhere, when I go out, out of Ottawa, I never get bothered by no, no jakes, no nothing like that. Only when I'm here, it's like, they're on it, they're hounding, they, like, they're, they're trying so bad to find something, they can't find nothing, they're pissed off, they just want to harass you for no reason type shit. It's just eating. I think it's just, you know? For real. Something's wrong with you. They have, like, like a little chip on their shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, for Ottawa, I think, like, you, we're not really an entertainment scene. Like, no, Montreal, know. Toronto, they're more, like, entertainment cities. Like, do you think a lot of that is because we have the federal government and they kind of, like, especially with hip-hop and, like, it's, like, urban music or whatever, they want to label that community, like, I guess, lesser music and then you know, not put on because it seems like we don't have enough shows out here and we don't have enough platforms out here to really be able to elevate the masses. You exactly. Know? We don't really have much. Like I say, the only thing we really have is like blues fest, yeah. but that even that too is like, that's not really like a hip hop, like a uh, hip hop base. Uh, how do you say it? Like festival type shit, you know, it's more like country music and this, 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 but they do have their like little hip hop section, but uh, that's only once a year, you know, yeah. this shit, niggas are doing this shit full time all year. Cranium is one of those guys that are, are doing doing some shit in the city. Yeah, they're, they're trying to build their name, trying to help out the artists and shit. Even the all cap out niggas. Yeah, yeah. But other than, other than 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 those, is, you don't really. There's not really much. No, and and even uh, I don't know if you remember when the the Migos came to Ottawa. And yeah. Shut that shit down. Shut it down. But like kids, like tore you know, through that? the fence. You missed that. Huh? Yeah, yeah I had, me I had too, bro. Game. I was, my oh. coach told me like, yo, either you go, go to the concert or you play the game which one my fuck yeah, boss life literally literally no nah, but ever since then even then like that was bringing in some heavy hitters and ever since then like i think they brought in 50 cent or whatever but they haven't had like a crazy amount of ottawa artists you know two-time ashley fortunately got on the blue, yeah, yeah, blues yeah, best list i remember that yeah that's sick and uh you know always good to see um Ottawa artists, but do you, what do you think it is with the promoters out here that are just uh, maybe uncomfortable with the hip hop? I just I don't think they take us that serious, you know. Like if you can go get a show in Toronto, anywhere, any venue, book you if you have some, you know, a little buzz to your name. And shit like this, us we've been had a buzz in the city for like probably like three four years now. I don't see a lot of venues coming out trying to help with the resources, trying to put niggas on in the city, put some shows. I don't see any of that. So it's either they're just not f with us or I don't know, maybe they have like some sort of impression about hip hop artists in the city and what it comes with, you know? Maybe they're just scared. Yeah. And I think um there's different parts of, you know, Ottawa's hip hop community. But for I guess like the people who dabble in, you know, the more gangster stuff and maybe um, you know I feel like for them they're looking at it like it's not a good look for them if something goes wrong. They don't mm -hmm. want to take that risk. But to be honest, I don't think like there's no issue. Like nothing's gonna pop off, you know. No, and at the end of the day, I've been to enough of these uh, enough of these shows to see that really, like you know, everyone's about their business. Exactly. Everyone's mm -hmm. there to get their money. Everyone's there to get in and get out and put on a great show. So you know, for promoters out there, just you know, allow these artists to to show you to you show know? you there's what is we don't bite. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're trying to make money. And just with the city, like. Do you ever find that it gets tough, difficult to stay out here? Like, how important do you feel like it is to just take a break and leave for a bit? 
I feel like if you live in Ottawa, you need to take a break every two, three months. You just need it. There's too much. There's too much negativity in the city. There's too much like I don't even know how to explain it. You just have to be from here to really understand. You know, like I feel like in Ottawa they'll support people outside the city more than they support the people in the city. But it's crazy for me to say that too because I get so much love from the city. But it's also like you see the hate. The hate, the 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 love outweighs the hate like, by a lot. But just even that 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 little hate is strong, you know. Yeah. So the little envy, the evil eye, could stop you from doing a lot of. Sh- it's just crazy, man. Yeah, and I think it's out here. I mean, you know, besides it, us being like a new metropolitan, just hitting like one point five mil right now in population. Uh, I don't know. I just think uh, it's a pretty working class city, and it's not very common to see people you know succeed in entertainment succeeding in sports it's like oh that's exactly, nice they get know? drafted cool cool but something that's against the grain i think it's it's difficult for people to accept and especially when it's like you live just down the road you know wh- whatever ends you're from it's like oh i know i went to high school with those guys oh i know those guys yeah, boom, boom, exactly boom. they're not really like that they're not gonna boom, look boom, at boom. it like oh they look at it like oh i know this person like he's accessible so yeah. in my mind it's not he's not as big as like what he actually is you know yeah like Imagine like Polo G came here and he did a show, everyone would go crazy, start tweaking, tweaking. But imagine like someone like Bali came. Bali's pretty big in the city too. But not a lot of people, you know, not a lot of people know him like that, like that. But they'd rather like the next man's from the next city come turn up the city than the people from their own city. Yeah, for real. And even you know, it's unfortunate, but uh, some of these shows like uh, especially the all cap shows they like to put on for the Ottawa artists and then have the Toronto guys come up. And it's just unfortunate when you hear these guys in the crowd, it's like, oh, get to so-and-so, get to so-and-so. Mm-hmm. And it's like, man, give these guys a chance because there's mad talented artists out here. Exactly. And there's mad guys who are, like, going to give you a good show before the headliners. You know? Yeah, for real. And um, just when it comes to your music, um, what do you have planned for 2023? 2023? Foot on the gas, no breaks. I've just been in the studio working, you know. I'm trying to drop my EP real soon, probably before March. I'm trying to get an album in, album in by summertime and just release a lot of videos, you know? Been lacking since last year. I haven't been dropping a lot, lot, lot. Like, in the beginning of the year, I've been dropping, like, back-to-back consistent. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, life just came, everything. It's just work at your own pace, you know? Don't try to rush it. Me, I like to take my time, be patient with it, perfect it first, and then let everybody else hear it. Most definitely, most definitely. And, um, you know, 2019, that was the year where it was a big buzz. Um how do you think, you know, the city can get back to that level? How do you think artists can get back to getting five figure, six figure views on YouTube and making serious streamings? How we can get back to that? Support. Just everyone just support each other. All the artists support each other, venues support each other, media outlets, like I was saying, you guys, all cap y'all. Everybody just come together. We need a, a nice collective collective group, you know? So it's not just one person doing everything on their own or trying to do everything on their own. Everyone comes together, put a little piece to the table, and then that's how we can keep it, like, keep keep the rate going how it was before back in 2019. But I guess, I don't know, to be honest. That's what I'm thinking. For sure, for sure. And just, uh, you know, speaking about West, you got a lot of talent coming out, and, you know, heavy hitters like yourself, two-time, Lindison, you see the young guys coming up. You got Guap, you got D-Wap. You know, yeah. a ton of different names. Um, uh, I think a big thing that really put on, at least for Was Gang out in Toronto, was Northside Jane, that tape. Do you ever see a tape like that coming out of the West? Oh, yeah. Uh, out of the West, 100%, for sure. 100%. I might have to be the one to pioneer it and, like, start it and, you know, like, get everything in the works, but 100% for sure. Nah. Because there's so many artists in the West that are just slept on. Or, like, they have a bunch of the songs that they have, but they never released it. So no one really knows, like, no one really heard their music or anything, but it's fire, you know? Yeah. So if we were to come out like, a tape like that and just everyone's debut, like, their first song, they put on the tape, niggas are going to be like, yo, who the hell are these guys, you know? It's going to bring more attention to us. And sh- I think that's the, that's the way to go, to be honest. Most definitely. And I think with the, uh, the FTG Deluxe album, you know, you got Metro's posthumous album. Those guys did those did so well. Those were such great projects that I think uh, no doubt, no doubt, if you know you put together something like that, it's it's gonna generate a serious buzz mm-hmm. for sure. So, for the people, where can they find you on social media? Find me on Instagram FTG underscore Reggie. 
Twitter, FTG Reggie. Ah, uh, that's it. To be honest, TikTok. I'm gonna be on TikTok now. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that type of way. <laughs> but TikTok too, FTG Reggie. Just yeah, everything FTG Reggie. For sure, for sure. You know, look out for that. Go find FTG Reggie. We got music coming out on the way. Keep an eye out for that. That was better. Keep an eye out because after I drop this shit, oh my god, but it's not going crazy again. <sighs> For sure, for sure. So it's going to be a crazy year, 2023. That was the interview with my guy, FTG Reggie. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming through, dog. This was a big one. This was a oh, big one. Man. Yeah, you know it. For sure. For sure. Anytime, just get me back on the show, for sure. Most definitely, Send most definitely. Here. Most definitely. So that was the FTG interview. That's FTG Reggie. Slap. I'm DF2. Peace, y'all. This is Lane Switching, if y'all forgot. <laughs>